Okay, so we've done a great job and we're able to customize some settings and even use some custom CSS in our theme. So the next step, uh, I think, would be to basically override some core Moodle output and change the way the site looks. So if we, for example, look at this page, we might want to change the way that a block looks, for example, this my overview block, without actually having to go in and edit that block, uh, the block's code itself, but we can override the output in our theme. In Moodle, the theme always has the final say on how the page will look. And to understand how we're going to override this output, we first have to understand what uh, a template is, because a template is the way that Moodle basically outputs HTML. Uh, in fact, there's a good page about this. We should go Moodle override. Yeah, this one. I'll put a link to this as well. But it's all about templates. And basically, uh, well, first thing is what is a template? So let's say we had a page. Let's actually just make a new file. Test. And we can output, well, we can like make a variable and we can echo that um, if we wanted to do that and we can go to this page in our site if we want to do that as well theme so we output something to the page 3 and this is like using the PHP file as the way to output to the page which is a bit crap basically because like, for example we might want to stop PHP write some basic HTML and then come back into PHP again uh, oh. and then you know like maybe echo echo sum plus four something like that as well um, and you can see, like, this is just very ugly right here. If we kind of closing the tags, writing HTML, uh, and, you know, we could even do stuff like if we want to put a, like a, let's say, a H2 tag, but finish it after so that we have PHP inside HTML tags, this right here is just a horrible way of doing things. I mean, let's look at it. You can see our our number seven is kind of affected. Like it is a it is like a heading, but it's just not good to combine HTML and PHP like this. So that's why we use a template because we do all the calculations in PHP and then send that off to a template to basically render the output uh, in the way we want to display it. And we'll delete that file now. So using templates, which are all over this site, like all these different plugins contain templates that determine how they output content. Uh, we can basically grab one of those templates and put it in our theme and change the way that it outputs. So let's go back into our site. Maybe uh, the dashboard is good. And let's just look here at this course overview block. So let's say we want to move this, this drop down here over to the right side instead say just a very kind of simple change but we don't want to do that by changing anything over here in core in the blocks and in the my overview area we want to change it in our theme so the way to do that is first well let's find where this is outputting so one way to do that I mean here it's kind of obvious you know, we, we want to find which template is is responsible for outputting this. Here we know it's the My Overview block, so it must be something in Blocks My Overview and in Templates, so one of these. Um, another way to check, though, is it's kind of like a little trick, is if you go and inspect the element here, and then if you kind of find some special IDs and stuff that looks very uh, specific that can also help because you can kind of search your whole code base for that um, 
maybe like this. And this is just one way to do it to kind of go from your front end HTML first and then look in the code, but you could obviously look in the code as well first. Here we see some stuff, some places it's outputting. So here basically is this is HTML, but it's fed in just a few variables that can customize whatever it is outputting in HTML. And these are calculated over in PHP in what's called a renderer. So we can override the display of the of these calculated variables in a template. Or we can also override the way that it calculates them in the first place in a renderer. So that's why here we're overriding a template to start with. So these uh, lines here basically are pointing to sub-templates within this main one. So for example, you can see it's going to output this, and then it's going to output everything in this template before continuing. So we're not seeing like all the HTML here, we're just seeing like the main, the main file. So let's go further down into the grouping selector. That looks pretty good. And then I think this is probably what we're looking for. Um, like this button, I'm guessing. So let's just have another quick look. So these classes should pretty much be matching up with like here. Yeah, see that? button, button, outline, secondary, and that's there. So it's kind of important, I mean, the first step, you're like, if I want to customize this button, or I've got to find that button, wherever it is, wherever in the Moodle code it is, and it looks like we've done that here. One quick way to test would be to just put a dummy class in here. Of course, we never want to actually make commits uh, that customize core Moodle, but it's fine to do just as a quick test. And let's just refresh. And we can see that my class has actually been inserted here. So we, we have found the right template that is outputting this button, and we can actually customize it there as well. Uh, the next thing to do might be to figure out what we want to change. So let's get rid of that. And all I want to do, for example, is here. Like, let's do, instead of margin right auto, maybe margin left auto. And if we save that and refresh, and you don't have to purge the caches between these either, by the way. It moves to the, to the right. So, cool. I mean, let's just make that, that could be a, the whole goal of this, is to override that behavior of where it displays. It's just a contrived, trivial example, but we just want to learn how to, to override a template. So, let's revert that. We don't want to actually change anything here in this file. We want to copy this file. And in fact, we can copy the file itself like this. And what we want to do is in our theme, let's make a new directory called templates. So this is where we can override other templates. And then what you do to override, for example, a block is make a folder called block my overview. So this is telling Moodle, this is the block we are overriding. And then we can paste that moustache template in here. And this is where you want to make the change. So I'm making this change now, not in core, but in my own template, way over here. And this one is left alone. There's no, we haven't made any change uh, to this line. So that's MR. This one's ML. And what we'll do is just purge the cache. And then we should see a change. Okay, and as we can see, uh, the button's still there. And that's what we want to see, because we haven't changed it here at all. So if it was still, uh, you know, customized here, that would make sense. But it means we're definitely using our new template. So we've overridden uh, the default template with our new one. And just to show even more, so for example, now our drop down has all this stuff. And let's say we want to remove a few of these items in here. Well, these items are determined by our template. So I'm just going to go in and just to show that we can do it, we're just going to delete some of these. So let's see here. In progress, future, past. 
that's probably these links here. Let's see what happens if we just remove all of that. So we've just removed some stuff out of the template completely. And now if we refresh, there's that, that link there is disappeared. And you can remove more things like Let's just, um, th those won't actually do anything then. So, okay, I just removed some more stuff. Look at what we have now. If we refresh, there's that future link has gone as well. So that's the way we can change, uh, yeah, just the output of templates in core in our theme. And the last thing we should do before we just commit this, if we want to, is remove the comment because that will kind of mess up the documentation because that's going to be kind of overriding the core block. So let's get rid of that. I'll just commit that. That looks all good. Okay, great. So you've learned how to override templates in the theme. Um, and so I guess the trickiest part is just kind of finding which template you want to override by using the inspector like we did in here and trying to find these classes or just kind of looking at where we're outputting like we can see that it's in a block. So let's go and look in the block area. So once we've found the template, we can put that in in the exact correct uh, directory file path uh, and then we can override it to make it display however we want.